By early June, the low pressure condition over the northern plains intensifies. The southeast trade winds originate over the warm subtropical areas of the southern oceans, cross the equator, and blow in the southwest direction, entering the Indian Peninsula. As these winds blow over warm oceans, they bring abundant moisture to the subcontinent. These winds are strong and blow at an average velocity of 30 km per hour and cover the country in about a month. The inflow of the southwest monsoon in India brings about a total change in the weather. In the early season, the western ghats receive very heavy rainfall, more than 250 cm. The Deccan Plateau and parts of Madhya Pradesh also received some amount of rainfall in spite of lying in the rain shadow area. The northeastern part received maximum rainfall in this season. Mohsen Ram of the Khasi Hills received the highest average rainfall in the world. Rajasthan and parts of Gujarat get less rainfall. This is another phenomena associated with the monsoon. Monsoon have a tendency to have breaks in rainfall, meaning the monsoon rains take place only for a few days at a time. Thus, it has wet and dry spells. These breaks in monsoon are related to the movement of the monsoon trough, which determines the amount of rainfall distributed at various places. When the axis of the monsoon trough lies over the plains, these parts get plenty amount of rainfall, thus have wet spells. But whenever the axis shifts closer to the Himalayas, there are longer dry spells in the plains and widespread rain occur in the mountainous catchment areas of the Himalayan rivers. These heavy rains bring devastating floods causing damage to life and property in the plains. The frequency and intensity of tropical depression too determine the amount and duration of monsoon rains. These depressions form at the head of the Bay of Bengal and cross over the mainland. The depression follow the axis of the monsoon trough of low pressure. The alternation of dry and wet spells vary in intensity, frequency and duration. While it causes heavy floods in one part, it may be responsible for droughts in the other.